Hey folks, Joe Shoemaker here from McDuff Realty Group in Indianapolis, Indiana. Sunny August the 13th, Thursday. It's a beautiful day. I hope you're having a good week. Uh, my thought for the day as I'm driving and thinking and chatting uh, this is uh, spurned by a conversation that I had last night. I actually overheard. I, didn't, I wasn't taking part in the conversation, but I heard two guys chatting up. I was at a coffee shop and they were table next to me and they were chatting about the real estate market and is it up or is it down and this guy says yeah market's up it's turning around we're you know we're gonna we're in a recovery phase here and the other guy was I'm not so sure and what I was able to determine pretty quickly was that neither one of those individuals are in the real estate business full-time they're consumers so it's no surprise that um, there was a little bit of conflict even between those two guys about what's really going on in the real estate market um, and for the average consumer I imagine it's very difficult to try to determine and, and assess uh, what the status of the market really is. Are prices up? Are they down? Are sales numbers up? Are they down? Are foreclosures up? Are they down? Are market times shorter? Are they longer? What, what's really going on in this, in this real estate market? I mean, just two news stories today. Indianapolis Star reports pending numbers are up from last year. CNN reports foreclosures are up from last year. So, you know, are people buying foreclosures? Is that what the deal is? I, you know, I don't I don't, know, don't really know, um, but it's easy for me to tell and understand how you as a consumer might be confused or concerned about what's going on in the, in the real estate market. How does that affect your, your home value and should you need to sell? How's that going to impact your bottom line? So here's, here's the reality. Most of the numbers we see, even on a regional basis, are very general. CNN, NBC, USA Today, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, those are all, for the most part, broad national numbers. Numbers that come from the National Association of Realtors, the National Association of Home Builders, various other places. But they're looking at broad-based, big brush stroke, 30,000 foot view of, of the real estate market, and are trying to, to make some determination based upon those numbers. Even our, re our regional numbers, tend to be culled from eight or nine or ten or eleven county areas right here in central Indiana to try to make some sort of prediction or, or, or assessment of what's going on in the current environment. And my thought is this, both of those methods are bogus um, because you've heard the saying, you know, politics are local, all politics are local, all, all real estate is local too. In fact, it's micro-local. My, my assertion is this, that unless I'm looking at numbers that are specifically and subjectively relative to my particular property, you know, I might as well be reading Chinese. What's going on? You know, here I'm driving on 71st Street. I just entered, just entered Pike Township. I just left Washington Township. You know, what's happening in sales on that side of the street versus that side of the street versus you know, five blocks that way versus five blocks that way are completely different. So how are we to assume that by looking at 11 counties, we're at all representative, uh, or that we're talking at all in numbers that are representative of, of your particular piece of real estate? And, and, and we're not. What's going on um, from one neighborhood to another, what's going on at one price point to another, are all very subjective to, to the particular piece of real estate that we're talking about. Here's another great example. Uh, I've been tracking sales numbers in Carmel, Indiana over the last two years in $100,000 increments up to a million dollars. So zero to 200,000, two to 300, three to 400, and so on. Now one could say, well, the numbers in Carmel represent this. You know, we've got a 90-day inventory or we've got a nine-month inventory or we have a 120-day inventory or whatever in Carmel, Indiana. But the fact remains that when I break down those numbers in $100,000 increments, there's a broad disparity in inventory between what's available in the $200,000 range in Carmel versus what's available in $2 million inventory in Carmel. So even in that one township in Hamilton County, it's irresponsible, in my estimation, to try to talk in broad terms about what's going on in the market. So my advice is this. If you have questions about your real estate, What's your property worth? Is the value gone up? Is it gone down? Is it flat? Is it going sideways? What's, what's going on with my property? Call your realtor. Call somebody you trust that works in this business full time. Someone that spends all day, every day, like I do, assessing property values, looking at real estate, watching trends, um, tracking data, graphing data, 
call them and say, hey, you know, I'm thinking of selling. I have no idea what my, my price is worth. I heard the one down the street sold for thus and such. What can you tell me about my house? And your realtor will look at the data that that we all look at and, and most, most appraisers look at on a very small, subjective basis. We'll look at properties that are similar to yours in size and condition and location and general sales price and say, what's going on in the market? Is there a, a low inventory? Do we have 30 days worth of inventory or do we have 180 months worth of inventory like we do in the high-end market in Carmel, Indiana, for example? Over a, over a million and a half in Carmel, there's 16 years worth of inventory of existing homes. So call your agent, say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. What are your thoughts? That's, to me, the only way you can get uh, a true assessment of the mark, present market value of your house is based on that kind of data. So just my thought for the day. I uh, hope you're having a good week. Um, enjoy the weekend that's coming up. Spend some time with family or friends. Hit the state fair. Have an elephant ear or five. 